Hi, I'm Mike Calloway, and in this video, we're going to have a look at Revit using Enscape. So Revit is a 3D application. Now, when we're working in Revit, a lot of the time we might be working in a 2D view, such as the ground floor plan that I have open in the background here. However, we may need to produce visualizations that show the model from a 3D perspective. Now, within Revit, even though we might be working in a 2D view, most of the time we are building up this 3D model in the background. And because we're building this 3D model, we can use this in other applications to produce some really nice visualizations. There's a number of applications out there. The other main one is Twin Motion by Epic Games. But we're gonna have a quick look at Enscape instead. So on the ribbon bar, Enscape installs a tab at the top for itself. And on the far left hand side, we have a start button. I just go ahead and click on that. A new window is gonna open up. Now Enscape runs off of Revit, so I have to start it from within Revit, but it does fire up its own window um, once we have clicked the start button. And what's happening now is Enscape's taking that 3D model that we've built within Revit, and it's rendering it in a 3D virtual environment. So if you're familiar with something like Call of Duty or any computer game, we, using the graphics card, can generate this real world environment that we can run around, we can inspect the model, and we can produce uh, visualizations from. It should only take my laptop uh, a minute or two to open, and, and there we go. And the controls are quite easy to learn. So down the right hand side, before we start looking at the visualization itself, down the right hand side, we have this little help bar. You can see pretty much most of the controls that we need to learn uh, here. So everything to, to get yourself familiar with navigating around, you can find here. Just simply using the WASD key on my keyboard, I can start navigating and, and flying around this model. I'm just gonna come in for a little bit of a closer look. And you can see that the visuals from Enscape as stunning. If I just put this to one side for a moment, this is the model that we started off with within Revit. You can see the placeholder trees. We've got a topo surface where the top material is being specified as grass. There's a pool area, and the pool itself has been generated using a floor slab with the material specified as water. And Enscape can take all that information and generate this real-world environment. Now, whilst I'm navigating around, the weather is going to take effect. You're going to see leaves blowing about, the trees and bushes moving. We've got animations. We're going to have ripples in the water. But as soon as you leave this still for a second or two, Revit and Enscape, it's going to try and refine that image on the screen. And it's from this that we can start producing outputs. There's a variety of outputs, and I'll, I'll run through a few of them in a second. We can produce still renders. We can do visual fly-throughs. If you've got a VR headset, you can fire this up in VR and um, navigate around your, your project that way. If I just kind of come in for a closer look, let's come all the way down to the surface here. If I just come in very, very close, there we go. You can see the level of detail that we're getting here. We have weeds in the grass, we have grass blades, and if I'm moving around so that the wind's blowing and we can change the level of wind, it's, I've got it turned up at the moment. Uh, you can see the grass moving around there. If I just turn gravity on so that we can walk around rather than flying about, we can see as we come towards this pool, we have a reflective surface. We've got ripples in the water, it's gonna distort the image. We've got reflections of the clouds above. All of this is generated within Enscape. It simply looked at the floor surface material that was added within Revit, saw that it was water. We can change the settings for the material within Revit, and that's gonna reflect how the water appears within Enscape. We'll just quickly navigate around the model. We'll just give it a bit of a appreciation before we start producing some outputs from this. So we can look around, we can change the time of day relatively easy. The weather is going to change, the sun is going to move across the sky, clouds are going to move across. And when it gets to night time and the sun's disappeared, the lights are going to come on within your buildings. 
and we're going to be able to see the stars and the moon uh, within the sky. And again, the longer you leave your image still, the more refined that's going to become. If we just go inside for a second, we'll just have a quick look around the building and we'll just have a look at the level of detail that we have inside. We have a very nice floor finish there. We have some furnishings which are coming through very nicely. And if I want to go up these stairs here, you can see reflections in the window there from the lighting inside. We're going up the steps. And we can walk through doors as well and we can start to inspect some of the rooms within the model. We can access all the information that's within the Revit model. We have this BIM mode that we can turn on. It essentially gives us um, a properties window slash tree organizational structure on the left hand side. I can see every component within the model listed here. I can also go around, I can left click and select components within the model and I can start accessing the information here. If I want to know what material or walls made out of the layers within the wall, I can select it. I can select the floor and I can see what the finish is. I can select equipment and I can see what the cost of manufacturers are. We can access all the information within Enscape without having to switch back into Revit. I'll just close that off there and let's get rid of that help uh, window as well and make this nice and big. This is all live. We can make changes within Revit and we'll see the changes live within the Enscape model. If I just bring the sun back up, we've got a bit of light. We have a nice sitting out area here. Round table, four chairs a few components. If I just switch back to Revit, we can see the same components here. If I select this chair, delete it so that there's now only three, the Enscape model instantly updates. This works great with features within Revit such as design options, where you might want to propose multiple design options to a client. You can design the different ideas and you can switch between them within Revit and Enscape will automatically update to show the current design option. Having a look at some of the outputs that we can produce, looking towards the top left hand corner, we have a number of icons up here. We've already seen the BIM mode. If we go across, we have this video editor. In the video editor mode, we can add certain keyframes. I might pick one at this point here. I can zoom in, pick another keyframe there, and then pan around to look at the building. This is going to produce a timeline at the bottom. If I just hit the play button, we're not going to customize the timings, the speeds, the angles, the time of day. All of that can change through the fly through. And we can very quickly put something together. We can hit the export button in the bottom right hand corner and we can export that video which we can then send on to the client. We have a screenshot button. This is going to produce your standard render. We have settings on the right hand side. We can adjust the appearance of our outputs, the quality, the resolution. We have those settings available. Simply hitting the screenshot button, we can choose a location we want to save the image, give it a name, hit the save button, and anything that's going to render and export that image. We can pre-create these scenes, and we can batch render them. We can also produce 360 degree panoramic renders. It does take more than a couple of seconds for them to produce. So we won't generate one now, but we can generate these 360 degree panoramic views. We just choose the location we want to be the center point and we can hit the button. If you have something like Google, Google Cardboard or you have some uh, um, VR glasses that you can put your phone in, 
we can generate three D panoramic renders as well. We can also export this entire visualization as its own standalone executable file. It delinks this from Revit, and we can then send this 3D environment to our client. We can customize the appearance, we can whitewash the materials, there's a variety of settings we can change to control how this 3D model appears. And we can then save that as an executable file. We can send that onto the client. They don't need to install anything. They don't need any licenses. They just need an average computer with a 3D graphics card. And they should be able to run that executable file and they get this exact same 3D environment that they can navigate around and change the time of day. It'll be read only because they won't have access to the Revit model, but they'll be able to see everything that you want to control that they can see. So thanks to Revit being a 3D BIM application, we can do these extra things. Should we had a 2D application? Yes, we can draw our floor plans, we can create our section views and schedules, but it limits us on all these extra things. I hope you found this video interesting. If you'd like to know more about Enscape, Revit, or any of the features involved, do feel free to check out the Man Machine YouTube channel. There's lots of videos on there with tutorials, tips, and tricks. Thank you all for watching.